Hey everybody, Rick Wilson here. We're going to talk about gold in Yellowstone. And the title of this video is, Is There Gold in Yellowstone? Probably. And uh, the reason I say that is, it's this gold right here. This is it. There's a bronze chest from the 14th century filled with 42 pounds of gold and coins and diamonds and gems and all kinds of goodies. Um, this was hidden about a decade ago by a man named Forrest Finn. Forrest Finn was a millionaire that owned an art gallery in Santa Fe, New Mexico. And um, he, he uh, was an archaeologist. He, he did a lot of things. He, he uh, hunted down stuff like this. And, and um, he, he got very famous and very rich. And then he was told he had cancer and they gave him three months to live. And before he decided, before he died, he thought that the most pleasurable thing in his life was hunting down these ancient relics and digging them up out of the ground and just finding them where they've laid for thousands of years. And he thought, I gotta share this feeling with other people. This was the best part of my life was doing this type of stuff. And he really got into it. So he decided to take this treasure. He, he, gathered up all these treasures and uh, there's gold coins there's diamonds there's rubies there's emeralds uh, there's a little Egyptian uh, there's a little Egyptian solid gold statue looks like an elephant there's gold nuggets that weigh over a pound a piece he threw all of these all into a chest that he purchased it's a 14th century bronze chest he paid 25,000 for the chest alone and they estimate the value of the gold in this chest to be one to two million. Um, it weighs 42 pounds. Uh, however, all of the gold in this chest is what they call collector's gold. It ain't just gold, it's collector's gold. There's, there's old, old coins. Uh, there's stuff from Egypt. There's things from all over the world. Uh, he collected this stuff from all over the world. And so a lot of the stuff is worth more than its weight in gold because of the historical value of the pieces that are in this chest. And, um, and he hid this gold somewhere in the Rocky Mountains and then he wrote a poem that's called The Thrill of the Chase. And um, now let me, let me show you a picture of uh, Mr. Finn. This is Mr. Finn in his home, and you can see all the stuff he's collected. He especially specializes in Indian artifacts. He loves Indians and Indian artifacts. And, um, and now we're going to move on to the poem. Now, he claims that this poem, that's called The Thrill of the Chase, contains all the clues that you need to find the gold. And most people, and there's been 10,000 people a year go out and look for this gold for the past decade. Many, many people have gone out and looked for this gold. And um, but he claims that, you know, uh, that, that the clues are everything you need is in the poem and and uh, nobody has found this gold yet but I, you know, I, I looked at the poem and I, I decided not to look at what other people have thought you can, you can get on the internet and there's thousands of theories about what he means with the, some of the lines in the poem uh, most people do now agree that it's in Yellowstone the reason I believe it's in Yellowstone is I researched this man's life that's one of the first things I did and he spent a lot of time in Yellowstone he spent a lot of time in Yellowstone. He, uh, it was almost like his second place to live other than his home. Um, he, he grew up all through the, he, he's been in the Yellowstone, so he knows the Yellowstone like the back of his hand. And the place that he put this gold in Yellowstone is pretty remote and um, nobody goes there. And, uh, but, but now let's move on, let's move on to the poem here. And I'll, you know, I'm gonna read this poem. Now I'm gonna say some things that I think it don't mean, uh, but there are a couple parts of the poem that I have solved that nobody else has solved. And uh, Mr. Finn always did say, the person who does solve the poem will know that they solved the poem. And that's kind of how I feel. I'm, I'm like 99.9% .9 certain I have solved the poem and I know where the gold is. I know that almost the exact location within maybe half of a mile. And that's one of the main reasons for taking this Yellowstone trip, because I want to go see if I'm correct. Um, now, now let's move on to the poem. His poem starts out, As I have gone alone in there, and with my treasures bold, I can keep my secret where, and hint of riches new and old. 
Begin where warm waters halt and take it in the canyon down. Not far, but too far to walk. Put in below the home of Brown. From there, it is no place for the meek. The end is ever drawing nigh. There'll be no paddle up your creek, just heavy loads in water high. If you've been wise and found a blaze, look quickly down your quest to cease. But tarry scant with marvel gaze, just take the chest and go in peace. So why is it that I must go and leave my trove for all to seek? The answers I already know, I've done it tired and now I'm weak. So hear me all and listen good, your effort will be worth the cold. If you are brave and in the wood, I give you title to the gold. That's the poem. Now I, you know, I researched him a little bit and then I read this poem and then I pulled out an old, and, and let me point that out, an old map of Yellowstone. Because uh, Finn has also left additional clues on his website and he's done some blogs. He used to give out a clue every month. Of course, they were very, very vague clues. But after reading the poem and looking at my old map of Yellowstone, I, I figured out where this was in about 10 minutes. And uh, I figured out the location, and then I backtracked uh, how you would how you would go to get to this location, and it fit the poem exactly. Uh, I have gone alone in there. It's in a very remote place. There's no trail actually where this is at. It's up a canyon. I'm, I'm just going to say that it's in a canyon. Uh, it's in a canyon where nobody goes. And where warm waters halt and take it in the canyon down not far but too far to walk put in below the home of brown there's a lot of people that talk about the home of brown a lot of people think there's a ranger station in yellowstone that a man named brown a ranger named brown lived in 100 years ago but i don't believe that that's what that means and um and then just below that it says uh uh the part where it says there'll be no paddle up your creek just heavy loads and water high uh and then the end is ever drawing nigh. Most people think you put into this water below the, the cabin where a ranger named Brown lives and then you go downstream. But I don't believe that. Uh, the home of Brown means something else. I'm not going to elaborate on that. Uh, what I believe, do believe because I'm like I said I want to go there first myself. I'm not giving too much away. Um, because we are taking one entire day because it's going to take an entire day just to get to where he put this gold and then get it out of there uh, if I can find it. Uh, but the home of Brown, you put in below the home of ground, Brown in a canoe, but then you don't go downstream. You go upstream, not downstream. That's one big mistake everybody's making. Uh, there'll be no paddle up your creek, just heavy loads and water high. And this particular stream that you put in below the home of Brown, the only way to go upstream is to just put your canoe in the water and just get in water up to your chest and you have to pull your canoe three to four miles upstream to get into water where you can then canoe the canoe and then you got to go another 12 miles in that canoe once you get a, a fat past the fast moving water but when it says there'll be no paddle up your creek that's because the, the, the current is so swift there's no way you can paddle up it you can't you have to just get out of your canoe and grab a rope and just start walking with water up your chest and pull it, it, to get to this location and uh, let's see what else we got here this part here I've done it tired and now I I'm weak what he's referring to there is there's two ways to get to this stretcher there's the way that he describes in the poem and that's that's a, that's how you would get to this treasure by canoe uh, there's another way to get to it that he went to when he was older and weaker and when he held, when he actually hid the tre treasure uh, There's a way you can walk and get to the treasure and he said in a, his a Clue on his website that it was 8.2 miles from his home uh, But a lot of people think that's in Santa Fe, New Mexico But no, he means his second home in Yellowstone and you got to know where he stayed all the time and this particular location just happened if you take this back way that you can walk it happens to be exactly 8.25 miles to this location and um, then uh, so hear me all and listen good he's this is the most important thing in the poem he's telling you hear me all and listen good and then I'm not going to elaborate beyond that I figured out this part of the poem nobody else has there's lots of people that think lots of different things but I know what that means and um, 
and then there's another part of the poem which I'm not going to elaborate on. Uh, well, he marked he marked it with the blaze. Uh, you know, a lot of people have figured that out. If you've been wise and found the blaze, look quickly down your quest to cease. But carry, tarry scant with marvel gaze. Just take the chest and go in peace. So a lot of people, you know, you got to look for the blaze. Well, the blaze. If you, he's an Indian. Uh, archaeologists you know the Indians used to mark their trails by putting blazes on trees they would shave the bark off of a tree and make a marking and the, and the shape of the blaze tells you does the trail go up to the right does it go to the left does it go down does it go right does it go left does it go straight it's by the shape of the blaze but uh, so this tree is marked with a blaze so, so when I when I go to this location in August and like I said we're gonna take one day and we're gonna go to this location and you know I still there's a very good chance I still not gonna find this gold because um, in a mile of canyon there must be 10,000 trees and you gotta spot the one with the blaze and it's got to be the correct blaze I mean there's lots of trees that have blazes on them animals can put a blaze on a bear can put a blaze on a tree uh, Indians might have put a blaze on a tree um, it's, it's just, uh, but he did mark the blaze additional way that's in the poem. That's the other part of the poem that I solved that nobody else has solved. There's an additional marking on the tree other than the blaze. And I'm not going to speak to that either because nobody has figured this out. And I know exactly uh, what he did. Um, he marked the tree. And when you find the tree with the blaze, if you look the tree over real good, you should know that it is the correct tree because of the other marking. And uh, but, but like I said, I'm not going to go there. Uh, but like I said, I may. I'm going to go to Yellowstone. We're going to get this gold. And uh, if I don't find it, it's just because I didn't spot the tree out of the thousands of trees that we're going to have to look through. Plus, I got a, this big blind spot in my right eye still. Uh, it's giving me a lot of trouble. It moves around. <laughs> It doesn't stay at one spot. Uh, it's constantly in the way. But anyway, I, I've got a you know I I got a good idea of uh, exactly where it's at in the canyon and and how far up and on which side. That's all in the poem. But you just you know, it, Finn always said a nine-year-old could figure out this poem. And so there's all these people out here with all these theories, and some of them are pretty elaborate. And um, it's not. <laughs> it's simple. A kid could figure it out. Once I figured it out, he was right. A child could figure this out. Um, and you know, like I said, I may not still not find the gold, but it's just a matter of will I spot that tree or not. But I'm gonna give it a shot. So, uh, um, so anyway, that's that's my video, and I just want to let you people know, you know, that that's just one of the things I am gonna be doing at Yellowstone is looking for this gold. Uh, I'm gonna spend one day. Just one day doing it and I'll be taking you with me I'll take my cameras I'll document it um, you know and then I'll explain my other clues when I make my video and if I don't find it then I'll just I'll leave my solutions then somebody else can go up there and maybe spot the tree I'm sure it's the location it's just a matter of did I spot the tree and now when I do my video I'll give you the clues that I did solve that I'm not telling you now because I'm not stupid I'm not going to give the exact location of this gold I've already told you probably more than I should have and um, uh, but anyway that that's it so uh, that is there gold in Yellowstone probably and it was put there by Mr. Forrest Finn so um, we'll see y'all later